I'm Angelica Harden Norman. I'm living on the Blackfeet Indian Reservation in Montana and working as a visual artist and gallery owner besides running a teepee camp in the summertime. In this video, I like to talk about how Blackfeet geometric designs influenced my art and why I started using these designs. In 1999, I moved to Browning, Montana from Hamburg, Germany and married Blackfeet artist Daryl Norman. Then followed years of exploring Blackfeet art. Believing ancient images have a meaning in modern life, I started painting Blackfeet geometric designs, which have been used on teepee liners in various places of our house. With that, I followed the Plains Indian women's tradition to decorate their homes with geometric designs. Blackfeet women not only painted geometric designs on teepee liners, but also painted them on parfleches and used them for beadwork and quillwork. The word parfleche is French Canadian and means arrow deflector. Today the term parfleche is used for various kinds of painted rawhide. I like to quote from Gaylord Torrance's book, The American Indian Parfleche, a tradition of abstract painting. The American Indian Parfleche is a powerful tradition of abstract painting created by women of more than 40 tribal groups throughout the western half of North America during the 18th, 19th and early 20th century. Parfleches were integral to nomadic ways of life of the plains, intermontane and plateau tribes and that they provided for the transportation of each family's food and material possession. At the same time, they served an intellectual, emotional and spiritual purpose. The painted images that covered their surfaces were rich in associative and symbolic meanings and provided the women who painted them with a powerful means for personal artistic expression and in a way to affirm their cultural identity. These parfleches which you just saw were created by my husband Daryl Norman. He also created these little envelope parfleches. One day my husband showed me his private art collection and one painting caught my eye immediately. It was a pastel painting by Navajo artist Conrad House of a crow Indian parfleche design. There it is, I thought, a bridge between ancient Plains Indian art and modern art. I had seen geometric modern art paintings in Europe's museums before and was excited about my find of modern Native American artwork with geometric design. Modern German art has influenced my painting style before. I have worked in acrylics and have applied multiple layers of different colors or different hues of one color to a painting. Therefore, I was looking for a way to do the same for my parfleche paintings. I also wished to incorporate the translucency of rawhide, which I loved so much. Daryl also created this Blackfeet cylinder parfleche. I decided to use this one as a basis for my next parfleche painting. Before Daryl rolled up his parfleche painting into a cylinder form, I digitized the painted rawhide. In Photoshop, I created a digital collage which I then sent off to a printer. Here I have a chiclé print and start painting over it with pastels. Early parfleche painters painted with sticks and bone parts and had no means to make precise and symmetrical measurements. Just like in the ancient parfleches, Dara painted each form a bit different. So, I straightened out some of the forms in Photoshop to make the composition symmetric and the figures more even in size. However, 
I did not want to let the German, there must be order, to get a very strong hold over me, and wanted to keep some of the imperfectness of the original. We also have a saying in Northern Germany, God loves it a little crooked. The book Digital Art Studio by Karen Schmenke and others inspired me to develop a technique of combining traditional parfleche painting with digital art in pastel. After I invested in a professional scanner in a strong computer, I could create large format digital parfleche collages. I'm using a pencil out of rolled up paper. I'm blending the different shades of blue and spreading the pastel paint. I'm coming to the last part of the painting. I'm outlining with a pastel pencil. I'm using teal and dark blue as colors. In his cylinder parfleche, Daryl has used light green. Blackfeet women outline their parfleches quite often with black, green and blue, whereas Crow women preferred white as an outline. Why am I doing this? First of all, I love it. To fill out these divided spaces with different color is very soothing because all these forms and colors come together as a harmonious whole. It reminds me of mandala paintings, especially when working with the square digital parfleche collages I created. Secondly, I wish to present parfleches in a modern form and to contribute in keeping this art form alive. Additionally, for more than 10 years, Blackfeet art is all around me and has become a part of my daily life. Therefore, it has a strong influence on my own art. While I'm doing the outlining, I have to be careful not to touch the pastel painting with my sleeve. I'm finishing this mixed media painting. The start off has been a rawhide painting with geometric designs by Blackfeet artist Daryl Norman. Following the digitizing process, I worked with a computer and with Photoshop to straighten out some of the geometric patterns and to create a collage. I also enhanced or changed some of the colors. Finally, I have painted over the chicle printout with soft pastels. I dedicate this film to my husband Daryl Norman and to Plains Indian women artists. May their geometric art continue to inspire others and be a unique living expression of the human creative spirit in this world. Thank you for watching.